Hey everyone, welcome to Boost the Motorsports. And if you guys can't already tell from the title, we are going to be hanging out, looking at, and driving the supercharged Dodge Viper GTS ACR Edition. So if you guys haven't seen all the last videos and all the videos leading up to today, we did a bunch of videos. We had to pin the crank, install the methanol injection kit, and then install the supercharger kit. So all that's on. It's been about a week or so, I would say. Um, I've just been dealing with some other stuff too and getting some other stuff done as well. So uh, finally, we're getting to the tuning though. Uh, Flying Ryan has hooked us up with our base tune and we're just getting it dialed in. So I will tell you that right now, it's not 100% dialed in, but we're working through it and getting it there. And that's why I want to update you guys, show you guys that process and get it dialed in. So just real quick, if you guys haven't seen the setup, um, like I said, definitely go check out the other videos on this channel. We have the Row Supercharger Kit. And fortunately, unfortunately, this engine does have cast pistons. I know, I know, I kind of got unlucky in that sense. The year um, 2000 and up, actually until about 08 or so, they had cast pistons. It wasn't until 2013 they started putting forged back in it. So uh, up until 99, they had forged pistons in these and then for whatever reason, they went to the cast ones. So with that being said, I can only run about six or so PSI safely, which I know I, I get it. it, it's not ideal, but that's where we're at right now, but I wanna get it dialed in. Uh, you know, it's gonna definitely wake the car up, but we're gonna run it like that. And then I do eventually want to dig into this motor at some point and beef it up and we'll go crazy at that point. But for now, we're gonna have some fun and get it all sorted out. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and load the latest tune. I do have the methanol controller, the AEM one. So today's video, I'm actually gonna be turning that on and there's two little dials on it and honestly, it's so buried in the car that it's hard to show you, but there's two dials that say when it starts and when it's on full uh, you know, pumping action. So I'm gonna be playing with those. We'll load the bass tune from Flying Ryan and we'll get that in there and we'll see how she goes. Okay, so we just finished loading up the tune with HP tuners, so that's all done. Let me try to crawl under there and show you guys what I'm adjusting with the methanol kit as well. Okay, so like I said, it's gonna be kind of tight down here. Let me kill the dinging. So right there are the knobs for the methanol kit. I turned them all the way full just so we could do some tuning without the methanol engaging. But I'm gonna be turning them to about here. So I wanna turn it on to about 40%. And this is referencing the map voltage, so it's going off of that signal, so I wanna see if I can get it to kick in about three pounds of boost and run up to our six. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Um, like I said, about there. I gotta stick my head in there, adjust it, but we'll try 40% and we'll try 60% for full. All right, so let's go ahead and start this thing. And I've got the other camera so you guys can kinda hear a little bit better. All right, sorry, I started to tell you guys something, but since it's referencing map voltage, it actually, the blue light, which is right here for our methanol, it actually engaged just on atmospheric pressure without the engine running, because there's no vacuum. So I had to just reach under there and just give it a tiny little bit more uh, incremental on the first knob. So I know it's getting a little bit technical for you guys, but we'll go ahead and start this thing up.
Okay guys, so we're back in the shop. What's gonna happen now is I'm gonna take that file, I'm gonna send it to Flying Ryan. He's gonna revise it, review it, and well, essentially he's taking the data log file and he's going to adjust the tune file with the information that he gets from the data logging. So um, apparently I just spoke to some friends. They said that they could hear it whining like crazy from the front of the car, but from the back and from inside and from what you guys probably heard, just sounds like, you know, a lot of exhaust noise, but apparently you hear a ton of whine from the front, which is pretty cool and it's coming on. So uh, yeah, let's send that off to him and see if he gets back to us within this video. Okay guys, so Ryan already sent us a revision. So it was honestly like half an hour. Ryan was on it, sent it. So I'm gonna load it back up. We'll go for another uh, test and see how it works. So we've got the HP tuners there with the laptop, just loading up that file. We'll close the hood and we'll get out of here. So we're back, here's all the logs and stuff like that. So I'm gonna send this back to Ryan again and he'll revise it and review it. Okay, so like I mentioned, that data log is sent off and this is kind of the whole process on how this works. So just so you guys know, it doesn't matter if it's this, if it's that eventually, or it's the Dakota over there, which you can probably see there, trusty old Dakota. It's all the same process. Um, you know, you drive it, data log it, and you send that back and get a revision back and we just keep tweaking things and dialing it in. So this is, I guess I should elaborate a little bit more on that. This process is if you were trying to get optimum performance and you know maximum power out of this thing, which is obviously the goal here on that channel or this channel, I should say. But you know, some people are just happy with um, you know, a safe tune, a revised tune that's worked on many vehicles and maybe tweaked you know a couple times and, and that's it. But we're gonna try to you know, get this thing as optimum as possible with the small amount of boost that it does have. And then we'll, we'll start coming up with a strategy on what to do next. One other side note is just on those few uh, you know, runs, this thing has pretty much drank half a gallon. I was hoping this reservoir bottle would be sufficient, but it's only about half a gallon and it pretty much ate the whole thing just in a couple of testing sessions. So. Might have to retrofit the one in the front. The only problem was I do want to maybe put one up here in the front, but just accessing it to fill it is going to be a little bit more fun. This one's very accessible, which is kind of what I liked about that. Or I don't know, maybe I should see if I can get a company to maybe you know build me one out of aluminum would be kind of cool. So one that's bigger because we can definitely utilize more space in that area, but we'll see what happens. If anybody maybe knows somebody that can weld up a can on this channel, let me know. That'd be kind of cool. We could, you know, I could send them this one. They could use the, the stock mounting points and we could retrofit something a little bit bigger in there, but it's pretty much the process you guys. I'm going to go back and forth, um, you know, with Ryan on this, get it dialed in over the next few days. And I'll definitely, definitely, definitely update you guys uh, once it's in its optimum running you know, condition and we got this thing completely sorted out. So um, like I said, we're, we're trying to extract as much power as we can out of the you know, six or so pounds that it's running. And then we'll, we'll see what we wanna do next and you know, what other mods. We still have a lot of other stuff to tackle as well on this channel. So if this thing's boosted, you know, make it some decent power, that's gonna be cool for now. That thing, it's almost getting to be fall where we can take the Dakota to the track and do that. But I'll talk about all that stuff um, in a near 
video here. So we'll get all that stuff sorted out, but we're gonna be boosting the Dakota again once this thing's sorted out. So I'll get you guys all up to speed. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Any questions about this whole setup or build, definitely leave me a comment down below. And anything else you guys wanna see on this, or if I didn't cover anything, or you're curious about anything else, but we did do all the videos on this channel. So go check out those other videos first, and you can see the whole build on this thing. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.